Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I am really excited to film this video because I feel like my journey to becoming a fit person is hella relatable. <laughs> For those of you that haven't seen me before, hi, my name is Amanda, and I embarked on a fitness journey late 2023, so it's been less than a year. It's been like maybe seven months. I was never the type of person to work out consistently, and that's who I am now, which is so crazy to think that I go to the gym four to five days a week. It is so ingrained in my routine that it doesn't even feel weird to me. It's just, you know, who I am. But I didn't grow up being that person. I was never the type of person to work out. I was never good at sports growing up. I was always a little bit overweight. I kind of came to the conclusion that my body just wasn't built to be a fit person. I blamed my genetics. I blamed my body type. I was just like, I can't achieve the certain body type if I try to work out as much as I could. It's just not happening. And before I knew it, I started being consistent at the gym. I started seeing results, gaining muscle, dropping body fat and I slowly proved to myself that it is possible it just takes motivation determination all the Asians <laughs> to get it done so that's why I'm here with you guys I want to share with you the five tips that really kept me on track to achieve my fitness goals and I swear if you do these five things there is no way you can't achieve your fitness goals they're game changers and you're gonna love them so with my first one and I would say this is like one of the biggest ones that kick-started my fitness journey is creating a workout project for yourself. I don't know about you guys, but every time I tried following a workout routine, I would always fall off. Even though I had a legit workout plan in front of me, I could not follow it. The reason why I saw myself failing is for two reasons. One, I'm not seeing results fast enough, so I think to myself, is this actually working or am I wasting my time? And two, there's no definitive end. You kind of ask yourself, okay, how long am I supposed to be doing this for until I see results? Is it for the rest of my life? Because I hate how this feels right now. And the idea of that kind of sucks. If you don't have an ending to this plan or routine and you already don't like working out, what am I working towards? A better looking body? Because how long is that going to take? Psh, I don't know. So a big game changer for me is to create a workout project. Something with a clear goal in mind, a clear start date, an end date. So here are some examples. 75 hard. I'm sure you've heard of it. Working out consistently for 75 days while completing other like healthy habits along the way. By the end of it, you're done zos. Um, another example is marathon training. Sign up for a marathon that's a couple months away and dedicate yourself to training for that marathon. If you don't, you're gonna basically die when it comes to race day. Doing a workout project gives you a faster sense of accomplishment. Something that you would normally get from less weight on a scale, a slimmer weight, Waste, to instead completing a day and being one step closer to completing your project. It's almost like it distracts you from focusing on like the physical changes happening to your body. You're focusing more on achieving the end date. So I'm sure a lot of you guys saw, but I did 75 soft. I dedicated myself to working out every single day for 75 days. I was just so distracted with all the things I needed to do. I was not focused on the scale whatsoever. And what's awesome too is when you have a definitive end date, it makes Makes the days go by way faster. 75 days flew by for me. When you're done with your workout project, you're going to surprise yourself with how naturally you're going to transition into that type of lifestyle. There's no way you're going to do something every day for 75 days and not want to like do it a little bit after the project is done. If you do hate it in the beginning, you're slowly going to get better at it and you may even find yourself liking it at one point. So number two is to create a plan for yourself. And I know this sounds kind of similar to my number one so let me elaborate creating a workout project is creating a start date an end date and having a clear goal in mind at the end of it. Whereas a workout plan is what you're going to be doing in between that start date and that end date. Creating a plan is also essential because a lot of us have different goals in mind. Some of us want to lose fat and build muscle. Other people want to bulk up. Your goals are going to affect your plan. And because of that, not every plan is perfect for every person. Now I have a confession to say, I want to do a half 
marathon. I know everyone is in their running era right now, but for me specifically, I want to do it because I have never been a great runner. I always hated running. Running a mile was the thing I dreaded most when I was in seventh or eighth grade, besides maybe talking to a boy. So running a half marathon would be the ultimate achievement for me at this point in my life. So as a lot of you know, I started my fitness journey at the end of 2023 and I have completely fallen in love with fitness. I've been lifting heavier, I've improved my endurance, and I've dropped my body fat by over 10%. But now with this marathon goal in mind, I know I need some help to really take my fitness journey to the next level. I have been making some progress with my running, but it's been very slow. And I'm not saying this is an issue because I want to see fast results. It's more that I just want to be efficient with my time. This is why I am so excited to share with you guys the sponsor of today's video, and that is Copilot Fitness. I am sure you guys have heard so much about Copilot Fitness. They have been all over YouTube, and it's for good reason. But if you haven't heard about them before, they create unique programs tailored to you, your schedule, and the available equipment at your home or your gym. You get step-by-step -step workouts, a personal trainer, and you get to track your progress through their app, which is amazing, I have to add. <laughs> so when I signed up, I had a video chat with my trainer, Lou, just to get to know each other and to discuss my goals and my experience. Working with Lou has been great. He is such a great listener. Like when it came to me just talking about my fitness journey, my goals, what my current workout split was like, and with that information, he was able to form a plan that was completely tailored to me. He's also just extremely receptive. He told me straight up, if you do not like a workout, I want you to tell me so I can make some changes and you know, you are happy with the program that I'm giving you. And I did not hold back, you guys. The first workout that I had with him, it was a little too easy for me. And I was like, hey Lou, I feel like I can make it a little bit harder. And he was like, I agree. Then for my following workout, it was actually just right. I was sweating. I like burned more calories than I usually do with my normal workouts. Never really do compound workouts, but they kicked my butt a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Copilot Fitness makes it so easy to stay consistent because the app guides you along the way. It shows you the workout in a video format as it's happening in real time. The app can tell when you are done automatically. You don't have to press anything and it'll like ask you in a little question box, how did that workout feel? How many more reps did you do than what your trainer asked you to do? Did you not complete it at all? My previous workout plan was a pretty traditional five day workout split. I had two upper body days, two lower body days, and kind of like a full body day. And now working with Lou, we transitioned my plan to incorporate more full body workouts and to have a dedicated cardio day so I could really focus on my running. With this updated plan, I'm so excited to like just continue my fitness journey. I feel Lot more efficient when it comes to my marathon training. So Copilot Fitness was so kind to offer a deal to any of you that are also ready to kickstart your fitness journey. You can click the link in my description or go to go.mycopilot.com slash Amanda Castillo to get 14 days for free with your own personal trainer. Your health and happiness are worth it. Seriously, Copilot has been such a game changer for me and I know it can be for you too. Number three is to schedule a regular workout time. For some of us, this might be early in the morning before the sun comes up or that could be late at night when you're done with work or like the kids are in bed or something. It's important to have a dedicated time to work out because it'll help establish it being part of your regular routine. Think about it as like brushing your teeth, washing your face, making your coffee. Like you don't even have to think about doing those things because they are part of your daily routine. Working out and having it be a part of your daily routine slowly makes you believe that you are a workout person. It's something that you do every morning, every evening. Evening. It slowly just becomes who you are. Just do it and slowly you will start to believe it yourself. Number four is to get workout clothes that make you feel good. Just like what you wear to important business meeting or what you wear on a first day can impact your mood and confidence, the same applies to your workout clothes and how it can impact your flow at the gym. If I'm already dreading working out and the workout clothes that I'm planning on wearing are like either too tight, uncomfortable, unflattering, it's gonna make me dread working out even more. If you don't like the way that you look in your workout clothes, you're more likely to not put them on and go work out. Whereas if you buy some cool, exciting new gear, you're gonna wanna wear it right away and try it out next time you go to the gym. I'm sure you heard of the saying, if you look good, you feel good. And I swear that confidence translates to you working harder in your workouts. I'm not saying you have to invest in the most expensive workout gear, but something I will say is you do want to take into consideration the fit, the fabric, and the flexibility of your clothes. Like if your mobility is limited, 
if you're chafing, if you were like sweating profusely, chances are you're gonna cut your workout short. And we made it to the last one. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Number five is to track your progress. This is so crucial when it comes to maintaining motivation in your fitness journey. There's like a couple reasons why tracking my progress has really helped me personally when it comes to my fitness journey. One of them is maintaining accountability. You know that like fitness app when it tells you how many rings you've closed? I'm able to see at a glance. It helps you remember how many workouts you've done during the week. You know, it keeps you accountable. Okay, I've only done three workouts this week, I'm aiming for five, so I need to do at least two more. It's hard for some of us to even remember what we had for dinner last night, you know? So <laughs> tracking how many workouts you're doing or just tracking your progress overall reminds you to keep going to achieve your end goal, you know, down the line. Another big reason why I like tracking my progress, it helps me visualize how well I'm doing. Personally, I don't like tracking my progress on the scale because it doesn't show you the full picture. I love doing body scans because it tells you how much water weight you have, body fat, muscle mass, and how they all all contribute to your overall weight. It'll tell you whether or not you need to make any adjustments to your plan. It can let you know right away when something is going off and you can make adjustments right then and there. If any of you want to do body scans for yourself, by the way, I get them done at NutriShop and they are completely free. You don't have to buy anything. They don't pressure you to buy anything, which I absolutely love. I literally go in, take my body scan, they'll go over your results with you, and then you can head out the door. There are some places that will do it for free. You do not have to pay for it. Just letting you guys know. <laughs> and those are my five tips, you guys, that really help me stay motivated to go to the gym. To my core, it, it's still weird for me to say, oh yeah, I'm like, I'm a gym girl, because I still don't feel that way 100%. It's still like a transition for me, because for most of my life, I just have not been a fit person and it's so exciting to see that now I you know want to achieve all these big things like I want to do a marathon I want to try surfing I've gone bouldering a couple of times like I want to try all of these fun fitness activities because now my body's able to do it and it's so fun to see this progress and that's why I really want to help any of you that feel stagnant that feel like you're constantly going in this yo-yo cycle and you don't know what you're doing wrong so if you made it this far in the video thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any fitness tips if you're on a fitness journey or if you just want to say hi comment down below I read all my comments love you a ton and I'll see you in my next one bye <laughs>